In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to work with a pen tool. So hi guys, welcome back to a new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page at Retouch Pro. So in today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you guys just a Photoshop tool, which is the pen tool, and I'm going to show you guys how I work with it and how it works a little bit. So it's not that complicated, but it does take a lot of practice until you get used to it. So let's get started. All right, so the pen tool, you can find that if you press on your keyboard on P or if you go here in your tools palette on the side to the pen tool. Now, if you press right click again, you can also see that the pen tool has a few more options. Just the pen tool, the freeform pen tool, add anchor point, delete anchor point and convert point tool. These options you can also find or access while you are using the path and the pen tool. So you can either work with these or with shortcuts. Then as well here from the top you will see obviously a few options in the option bar. Again first of all either working with just a path or creating just a shape and then obviously these will change again your options here from the top again. So you can for the shape create different things again and as well for your path create different things again. Let's start out just with a normal free move tool over here, the free pen tool, which I'm going to show you guys really quickly now. I can freely move around and create some really weird shapes and I'm working with the Vacuum Intenius 5 tablet so I have a pen and I can really easy draw a pen. With a mouse it's a little bit heavier. Anyway, so you can create really cool paths just with this free pen tool and go around areas and shapes yeah, and create a really quick path with that. I'm going to go back here in the history panel. So that's also one first option that you can use. I normally tend to work just with the pen tool. So let's just select the normal pen tool. What I'm going to start out first of all is just with shapes. So I'm just going to create a really random shape. I can just click into here and then as well click another anchor point and again and again. And as you guys can see already, Photoshop already creates a really cool shape there for me. So obviously I have now a nice shape around this I and I can also, if we just zoom in a little bit closer with the Z, press P again for the pen tool, I can go to my last anchor point, select this one and obviously we have completed the path now and this is now a finished shape. So now this finished shape I can work with this on the right hand side here in the layers panel. You can also see now the shape and we can move this around freely and do all sort of stuff with this shape. Then as well you can also hit right click on here while you're still in the pen tool. So I just press P on the keyboard here and go to define custom shape. So if I'm going to hit define custom shape you can give this a name over here, hit OK and you are done. And what does that actually mean? So if I'm going to go down here to my custom shape tool and select that, you'll see that under your shapes here, you will find the shape and can always use it in Photoshop again. Okay, so let's delete that layer, go back with P to the pen tool. And that's one way how to use the pen tool to create shapes and cool objects. But I mainly use it just as a normal path. So let's select the path over here. Again, a few options here that has changed. So you can also work with those, which we'll do in a minute. Now I just work with the normal path. So simply I'm going to start and just press once here into my center of my image. And I already have set my first anchor point. Now I can freely determine where I want to put my next anchor point. So if I want to put it up here, I can do that. I'm going to press Command Z to go step back. I can also press down here to do an, uh, put an anchor point over here or here or here, wherever I want to. So I'm going to start out first of all with just a straight line or almost straight line. And now I want to make actually a bit of a rounder shape. So how should I do that? It's very simple. Just press again with the pen tool down so you have an anchor point. But I'm still pressing the pen down on my retouching tablet. So now I'm going to move this pen and directly you can see that we're already creating a nice round path with this, also creating kind of a new round shape. So in one way you can also turn your anchor point uh, towards the clock or with the clock and you can also rotate this and create really nice round shapes. Then as well you can also stretch this to make really weird shapes and really weird round curves and also make any type of shapes you would like to do. So let's also stop now right over here and let's also just talk a little bit about these two anchor points because this can be quite uh, confusing actually. So first of all this anchor point down here if I hold command I can also then again reuse and reshape this again the same with the top one here so you can take any one of these two. 
If I hold Alt, we go into the Convert Anchor Point tool. So I can now convert this a little bit. First of all, obviously, just rotate this path. And then second of all, also rotate this. So this will also determine in which direction my new path will go. So first of all, I'm going to move it all the way over to say somewhere over here to the right hand side. My next path will directly go into this direction. So if I'm going to put an anchor point over here, it will directly go into this direction. Let's press Command Z, go step back, hold Alt again and move this one over here now, the anchor point and press P again and with the pen tool just click again a new anchor point you will see that the new path went into this direction now again it's just the normal anchor point we didn't rotate anything so it will obviously go into the direction you want to so if I'm going to go up again it will go up and I can combine that and have created a new path again and a really weird shape now what does this also help me well mostly I create shapes around cars or whatever around a object then hit selection and I have a really nice cut and out selection, perfect straight line, perfect round lines around my object. Let's also press delete so that will delete the complete path. And I'm also going to show you guys quickly before we cut out the car a little bit. Also just press here with my shape and I'm just going to create a really nice or weird shape around here and also show you guys a few things. First of all, I can hold command, say for instance my shape is almost done, but I'm pretty not so much happy here with the end, so I can hold command, go back to this anchor point, and while holding command, I can then again move, first of all, the anchor point, but as well also rotate this and stretch it obviously a little bit and reshape that path again. Okay, the same down here, let's also tweak this a little bit, and all sorts of stuff. Okay, so now I don't want to move or actually have this anchor point again. Then I can just select the anchor point and press backspace and that will directly delete this whole anchor point. I can now also just press the last anchor point and this one again and combine that again. Okay, so over here nothing is happening, so we haven't closed this path. I can just select the path again, select the last anchor point and my first anchor point and close that path again. So now we have a nice path. Next step that we can do is also go here to the top and just hit selection. That will bring up a new window, say make new selection and we can hit over here your feathering radius. You can either feather that or you can leave it to zero pixel as I mostly do because I want to have a very straight and edged line and a, and a clean line. So I'm going to hit OK and directly you have a nice selection. So now you can cut things out, create moss, etc. OK, I'm going to press Command D, get out of the selection here and just zoom a little bit closer here and show you guys how I would cut out maybe say this little window over here from the car. So I'm going to press P for the pen tool again and just start here on the left hand side somewhere and then press my first anchor point over here second one just going to stretch this a little bit and as you guys can see already this is going a little bit down here this anchor point so I'm holding alt moving that a little bit back and then easily create a new anchor point over here next anchor point stretch this a little bit create a round curve hold alt move this one down a little bit and then just continuing to create a really nice round shape around the window here okay and we're going to continue over here now I want to create a really nice round shape or actually path around here so I'm going to press my anchor point somewhere over here hold it and just move it right into here and as you guys can see also I'm not too concentrating too much here on this anchor point I'm rotating until I have a perfect shape then with alt again move this little anchor point down here and just continue with my line okay the same over here then as well putting an anchor point somewhere over here now and stretching this all the way down maybe even a bit further in as you guys can see with this anchor point again Okay, holding Alt, moving this guy in, and up again, and it's not perfectly now, but it does for the tutorial. Then as well, last anchor point over here, we're going to create one over here again, stretch that again, and this time it's better over here, so I can leave it, and just close up with this path. Again, selecting the last anchor point, which is basically our first anchor point again, just rotate this a little bit, and there we go created a really nice path around the window. Now I can zoom out a little bit, move up a little bit with spacebar, back with pen tool. So that's also the nice thing with the pen tool, you can move in between other tools. I'm going to press P for the pen tool again and go right here to the, to the top, say selection, 
zero feathering because I want to have a very clean cutout for that. Hit OK and we have a nice cutout for the window. So on my background layer here I can just hit backspace. Obviously it's going to ask me what contents do I want to put at the back. I'm just going to say white for the moment. OK, so this is just a pure white. I have no layer underneath it so that's why it's asking me. But at the moment you guys can also see it's a pretty nice decent cutout for this. So Command D again out of the selection and obviously I've cut out just this window quickly with the pen tool. Yeah, so that's basically all I wanted to show you guys for the pen tool. Very simple to work with it. Do practice a lot with the pen tool. There is way more to it. You can also use these extra buttons here at the top to combine shapes, subtract shapes, and also work with that. But for the start, it's very important to just get a flow of the pen tool and start practicing maybe just one anchor point, another anchor point, and then obviously just rotating it a little bit trying out where the shapes will go and what kind of path directions will it go and what will it create. Then again a new one and maybe just for the start create some really weird waves all around, some nice car waves or shapes here. Yeah, and just create your first path like that and practice a little bit with using the pen tool. It can be quite confusing at the beginning. But it's the best tool to cut things out and to do very precise selections. Yeah, okay, so that is basically all for today's Photoshop tutorial, guys. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below if you still have any questions about the pen tool. I know this is not the very best Photoshop tutorial on showing the pen tool, but it's something that can give you a quick kickstart into the pen tool. Then as well, do practice quite a lot with this pen tool. It does take a bit of practice until you're good with it. Uh, yeah, subscribe, give us a like, share, support us. And that's all from me this week. I'll see you guys next week for a new Photoshop tutorial. Bye-bye.